Hello guys, once again, this is Ewan Henry with Tech In My Life. So today I wanna to talk about my scale, my Whittings scale. But before we do that, I wanna take some time to apologize to all of my subscribers. It's been quite some time since I've uploaded any content. Sometimes the important things that we do uh, might be just outweighed by other important things that we have going on in our life. And I, I just wanted to take a time, take some time to apologize for not uploading content in a more timely fashion. Um, things are settling down now, so I should be able to get back to um, putting together content in a more regular fashion. Now that that housekeeping is out of the way, let's get into this video. Before we go any further, let's just do a quick unboxing. Let's open up this box, take a look inside, and see what comes with the scale. So as you open up the box, there's um, double boxed. On the outside, you'll see the Nokia logo. And then as you open up the box, on the inside of the box, you'll see it actually says Whittings. So a little while ago, uh, Nokia acquired Whittings. And I do believe that's still the arrangement. I haven't checked on it recently. Like I said, I picked this scale up about two years ago, so I don't know if um, anything has changed. I do know the app itself does not say Whittings anymore. The app itself is called HealthMate app. So there, there's just names all over the place. It's a HealthMate app for Whittings scale made by Nokia. And the actual scale is called the Body Plus. Um, so all of that, um, all of that word salad aside, it's still a great product inside the box. When you open the box, um, there's the scale and then there's four feet pads. The feet pads are to be used if you're using the scale on, um, a carpet, if you're using it on a solid, on a solid, um, surface like a tile floor or hardwood floor, you don't need the, um, the feet pads and on the bottom of the scale, there's one button and that button is used to sync the scale to the app. Outside of that, there's not much to it. Um, the top is made of glass. Uh, it has a little window that shows all of your information. And funny thing, whenever it's your birthday, uh, you'll be pleasantly surprised by what goes on on the screen um, for your birthday. It's really cute what, um, what they do. But let's get into how I use the scale. So a lot of scales these days have app um, that are companion with the scale. What separates them with that price from a scale that you step on every day is sort of a guessing um, about your progress. And again, the accountability aspect. Sometimes you think, oh, a month or two ago, I weighed this, I weighed that. And if you're not writing it down in a diary or something like that, then, you know, you, you really don't have a accurate way an accurate way of tracking um, your progress or lack thereof. So for me, looking at the app that's tracking my weight um, on every weigh-in and seeing my progress over time, it um, was really important to me. I actually had a have still have a scale that does not have an app to track my progress. And for a while, I was writing it down, writing down my way in um, all the different metrics, body fat and body mass index, um, fat percentage and so on. And it was becoming tedious to um, wake up in the morning. I get up pretty early and go through my morning routine. I have a routine where I do the three S's. Um, S, shower and shave. You can imagine what the first one is. And going through that process after the, the shower and the shave, the next thing I would do is step on the scale. Now, in the past, I would step on the scale and then I would wait a, a few hours or something and see if I can remember what my way, my what my weight was and then write that down um, in my diary or my journal. And I would track it that way. And even that, then I would still have to go back to my diary or my journal. Sometimes um, then I actually elevated to trying to use it in like an Excel spreadsheet. 
Um, and I, it, that those methods, um, they weren't consistent enough. And I found that, you know, obviously there was um, discrepancies there with human error. So being, like I said, an, an avid cyclist and again, not quite a fitness nut. Now, I, I'll also say I, I have other hobbies outside of um, being a tech guy and being a cyclist. I love eating and being a person that that really gets into grilling in the summertime. Actually, all throughout the year, I'm on my grill and I'm I'm cooking. Um, it, it would be easy for me to put on weight. I also love a good beer when I can find one. So it would be easy for me to put on weight. And at least I never put on a ton of weight. I'm never a big guy. I think I, the most I've ever weighed was probably 178, 179. And um, that being said, I, I just really wanted something to track that progress to make sure when I do have my... Um, periods of indulgence that I'm not getting too carried away with it or when the winter time time comes and I'm not riding as much I want to see how much weight I put on during the winter time I want to see that trend where my weight is going up and once I start training again um, I want to see that leveling off and then that's slowly going down and then once I hit summer and I can really get outside and do a lot more riding my weight um, trends down. So back in, um, I think it was 2019 actually that I got this scale now that I'm thinking about it. And from that point on what this scale does, it was able to, again, track my every way in, I can see a chart. I can see all of the different metrics and it's not something that I have to take a lot of effort to do. Now, once I got the scale, I created my account with Wings. Then I logged into the account. You, of course, have to sync the scale to the app. It's not a hard process at all. It's a very simple process. Getting the app and the um, device synced up together. Then... Um, what I've done is there's three members in my household, me, uh, my wife, and my son. My wife is also um, into fitness. She definitely uh, watches her weight, um, but more than watches her weight, she's just into a healthy lifestyle. So for her, being able to step on the scale and track her fitness, that was important. And having a little guy, I have a nine-year-old and we've been weighing him um, just keeping track of his weight also this now once I step on a scale I get all my metrics it automatically uploads it to the app so as a as a fitness person as an endurance athlete I would highly recommend if um, you're getting into the sport this would be a great tool to pick up now there's tons of other scales out there um, Fitbit makes a great scale and Garmin makes a great scale. Now, as a side note, I'm in the Garmin ecosystem. I'm using on my bicycle to track my activities and, and record my activities. I'm using a Garmin head unit on my bicycle. And I'm also using a Garmin watch. My wife has a Garmin watch that doubles as an, an activity tracker. They don't directly support Garmin. They don't directly send information to Garmin. But with a third-party app, I think it's MyFitnessPal. You create an account with MyFitnessPal, and it's kind of convoluted the way it works. But you create an account with MyFitnessPal. The Garmin um, app is then synced to MyFitnessPal. MyFitnessPal is then synced to Whittings. And what happens, once I step on the scale... I get all my metrics. It's sent to Whittings. Whittings then transfers it to my fitness pal. My fitness pal then transfers it over to um, my Garmin. So basically, I'm rarely in the Whittings app. I'm mostly, I'll say 90%, I'm in the Garmin app. So after a ride, I'll open up the Garmin app or I'll go online and, and look at my, my, um, my activity. And I can see 
in the morning, what my weight was. I can see my activity. I can see all the different metric heart rate, um, speed, cadence, power, etc. All in the Garmin app. After the ride, I get, like I said, I get out of the shower, weigh myself again. I can see my weight again. Um, so, you know, I get a really good picture for my day as far as an activity goes. I also get a great picture um, over a long period of time as to how my weight is trending. I kind of wanted to be around 165 weight. And I had a great winter training. And what I noticed, my weight, even before the, we really got into the summer months, my weight was around 163. And I've the last time I was 163 was probably when I was in high school. And then once I started riding outdoors, again, just keeping track of the progress, I can see my weight just dip down. I'm doing longer rides. I'm doing harder rides. I'm, I'm outdoors more. Um, just riding outdoors as opposed to riding on an indoor trainer. You're using different muscles. So you're burning more calories just being on the bicycle outdoors. Now, that being said, I've said it just a little while ago that as an athlete, it's a great tool, right? It even has a function that you kind of set um, you kind of check that you're an athlete and it gives you uh, a, there's it kicks into like a different algorithm to um, track your your different um, body metrics. But if you're not an athlete, you know, in, in the case of my wife or my son, they're not athletes, but it's really good that we can look at my son, for example, and see that he wasn't putting on weight at one point. So we're like, wait a minute, what's going on? You know, why is he not putting on weight? Take him to the doctor, got some information. He's fine. Um, just a growing kid. Just make sure you focus more on making sure he eats this, that, and the other. My wife, um, you know, this is what you weighed at this point. This is what you weigh now. And, and you know for sure, you know, the, the app isn't going to lie to you. The app isn't going to enter uh, erroneous data. So, you know, and you, you can see that chart and have a visual representation of I'm not really making any progress. Maybe I need to tailor my workout regimen. Maybe I need to change it up, whatever it is I'm doing. I'm not getting um, the results I want or I am getting the results I want. Let's keep doing this. So uh, I really have to give it up to Whittings. The, the, the scale, it's very simple as far as the scale goes. You know, it's your bathroom scale. It's not much to it. You step on it. It gives you the metrics. Um, now, as far as accuracy goes, when I step on the Whitting scale and I stepped on my previous scale, they're almost identical as far as weight go. So I'm guessing it's fairly accurate. I haven't really done a ton of research to, 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 to figure out whether it's um, the, the, the weight itself is accurate, but I've weighed a bunch of different things on it and it, you know, it seems fairly um, accurate. But I think more than accuracy, what I like is um, consistency. If if the weight is off, meaning if it's if it's over, then I want it to consistently be that same amount over or under. And, and it seems that way. It seems very consistent. So if you guys have found any information here useful, please don't hesitate to leave a thumbs up. You guys got any questions, um, leave it in the comments section. I'll do my best to get back in a timely fashion. So thanks for tuning in. Take care. Be safe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, peace.